Hey yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Tune. Ain't no crazy introductions today, y'all. I actually had something really cool planned, something fun and entertaining. However, I got some bad news, and I figured I'd save that for tomorrow's vlog. Unfortunately, we're on February 12th, month two of my vlogging, and I got hit with some bad news. Um, some unfortunate news for a good friend of mine. I didn't know him for too, too long, but for the amount of time that I knew him, he is a very, very, when I mean very, guys, I'm gonna look you in the eyes when I say this. I'm not gonna look away. He is a very humble dude. He's a very good-hearted, kind-hearted person. From the time that I knew him, this dude has showed nothing but love. Over two and a half, three years ago, I released a low-budget, independent graffiti documentary. We talked about that a few vlogs ago. You can actually even see the documentary on my YouTube channel. This portrait behind me is a frame of a variety of people who supported the first week's DVD sales. One of the main people who supported me and helped me sell those DVDs, one of the first ones to jump up. No commission. He didn't want no money. He didn't want no commission. He just wanted to help for the cause. Keech. My guy Keech, he's a Philadelphia graffiti artist. Man, this dude, not only is he artistic, creative beyond belief, but this dude is a really nice dude just to talk to. He's really humble, he's respectful. He's a nice guy, man. And a couple years ago, I happened to have covered a Kill Cancer event. I believe he was helping his mother-in-law or his mom with a Kill Cancer fundraiser. And he had all the like the major legendary graffiti artists, both young and old, come to the event and bring their artwork. And people were allowed to come purchase their artwork. And the donations from the proceeds went to, I believe, her cancer therapy. And this was done on South Street at Tattoo Moms. And now fast forward a couple years later, and now he's fighting it himself. He has cancer, bro. I don't know the full scale. I don't know the full altitude of what he's going through. I know I was just put down to this yesterday and I got a chance to communicate with him and he told me that he's going under today for chemo. He has a fundraiser link in his bio and right now, unfortunately, my financial situation isn't up to par. I'm not able to donate or help with a great amount of funds, but the way that I figured that I could help him, like he helped me without a doubt, he didn't think twice, I repeat, he didn't think twice when it came to helping me. It was out of the kindness of his heart. So I said, yo, bro, I got 50 copies. I got a few copies left for this DVD right here. I got 50 copies shrink wrap. Now, I know it's on YouTube. However, it's still a brand new graffiti DVD that you participated in. He's in the DVD. So I said, bro, listen, I can't help you with funds, but you know what? Take these drawings, you can off them. Whatever you off them for, use that towards your surgery or use that towards your chemo, or use that towards whatever you need it for. That's the only way that I could think of helping because he's in the DVD. My favorite spot I did was, uh, it was a building that got buffed that was on 95 in the South Philly area. I did a big ass Keith roller, two colors, and I did a big uh, cancer ribbon. And across the top, I wrote, save the Tatas. And I was kind of really mad that they buffed it in like two months because it took a long time, man. And it was a good piece for a good cause. The advice I would give would be learn your history. Everybody's got to learn your history, especially if you're coming from Philly. Learn your history before you paint a wall. It's important. Life is life. Life is important, y'all. Life is beautiful. We got people with two legs walking around that are ungrateful and are unhappy walking around when there's somebody in a wheelchair that can't walk. We got people who have eyes who can see and who are looking at the world in fury, but there's people who are blind, who are dealing with glaucoma and cataracts. You got people who, who are mad at hearing this and hearing that, but there's people who are deaf, who can't hear. There's a homie, there's a homie, I got a good homie from Canada right now that's on my timeline. And he probably can't even appreciate my vlogs because I got this mask on, he can't read my lips. And you guys are complaining? Bro, please do me a favor. I'm making this vlog, I'm dedicating this vlog. I'm not doing nothing else for today's vlog. I need you guys to do me a favor. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. And if you wanna donate money to his GoFundMe or to his fundraiser, feel free to do so. But what I need you to do is I need you to go to his page, blow up his page, send him some positive vibes, send him some good, some good blessings. Lift his spirit. 
Because in this time, he needs his spirit lifted. He needs to know that he's not alone. I've never dealt with that. However, I can imagine what he's going through, his family's going through. So do me a favor, after watching this video, go visit his Instagram, support him, give him a DM, share some positive thoughts. Let him know that he's not alone. If you can donate something, awesome, donate something. If you can't, it's okay. Give him emotional support. That's worth more than money because the emotional support can help him heal. Money can go but so far. So let's make it happen for him, man. Because that's, this is drawling, bro. Like, we on month two. A month two and I'll get some other type of communication that, that another homie and another friend of mine is going through another life-threatening situation. Blessings to j Rod Hard. j Rod Hard doing, doing well. But it's sad, y'all. Please don't think twice about this. Like, I ain't think twice about offering him them, them 50 copies. And if you want to help him by purchasing one of those 50 copies, go to his profile, say, yo, tune send me here. Yo, I'm trying to support the cause. Support his cause, bro. You know what I mean? This dude is a, is a stand-up guy, man. That's it for today's vlog, y'all. I'm going to leave today's vlog at that. Do me a favor, come back tomorrow. I got something fun, hopefully cool, you know, for the whole 50 viewers that's watching. So no, it's, it's 50,000. No, it's, it's 50 million of y'all. No, let me keep it serious, y'all. But yeah, soon to be 50 million, you know, viewers or whatnot. But yeah, guys, stay blessed, man. Kill cancer. Pray for my guy, Keech. This dude is, is a legend, man. He's, he's a master in disguise, man. I give mad respect to him and I appreciate the respect that he gives me in return. He's so legendary and he treats me as an equal. He does not, you know, look down on, on the younger generation. He treats us as equals and that's so dope, bro. Listen, Keech, pull through my guy. I hope one day you get to watch this and go, thanks, bro. And listen, you don't even gotta thank me, man. You know how you can thank me? Continue creating art, man, because your art touches the world, bro. Art has the power to change the world. You know this and I know this. Let's help the world realize it.